One of Lafayette's oldest schools will be getting a facelift after the Lafayette Parish School Board voted unanimously last week to use more than $26 million in federal COVID-19 relief money to rebuild the campus. News 15's Kenny Dar spoke with some residents of Lafayette's north side to see how they felt when hearing the good news. Well, the go ahead has been given and eventually the Truman Early Childhood Center that you see right here behind me and has been around for more than 70 years will be completely demolished and replaced with a brand new facility. Man, if if anyone tells you that they don't want to go to a new school, they'd be lying to you. Having a new school is it just it brings joy to my heart, um, brings a lot of joy to my heart. District 4 school board member and resident of Lafayette's North Side, Timmy Chasson, says building a new learning center is only going to add to the great things Truman already has to offer. And to add into that all the great things that we have going on here, great principal, great teachers, to add a brand new facility, I mean, it's a win-win for everybody and I can't wait. I want to build this thing as soon as possible, like ASAP. <laughs> Eureka Ross's daughter attended Truman last year. She says for unprivileged kids, having a great school to look forward to learning in every day is a great thing. Some of these kids are coming from, you know, broken down environments. So the least they can have is a well, clean and desirable school for them to be eager to learn, you know. Ross is also a community advocate and says despite some of the things the North Side community has faced, the addition of a brand new old school is a step in the right direction. Yes, as a school that was built in the 1950s in a low income community in a in a community that have been impacted by violence and drugs and the pandemic, this is one step in the right direction. Both Shasaw and Ross say that when a child starts pre-K, it's their first introduction into what school is like and, as the saying goes, first impressions can go a long way. Reporting in Lafayette, Kenny Dar, News 15. All right, that was Kenny Dar reporting. Now the next step for the school board will be to select an architect and meet with the community to discuss future plans.